Welcome back, strangers. Let's continue. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Oh. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Aw, oh, you flirty. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Oh, oh. <laughs> hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Drama Just Queen wanted to make an entrance. Oh, one. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Mm. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just... Put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I'm not in in crying. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... Our hope is in Harvey. Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have in to the shake street? things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. My dad's family? You believe in Dent? We believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. Uh. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, it seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. 
Harvey Dent is our best shot. Put him in a room with anyone for 15 minutes and that grin will win him over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. Uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're... Repl I don't know if you just saw that, but my uh, my party died, and I'm not sure if my headphones keep recording if my party is dead, so I just made another one. Let's continue. Placing a dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne, in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your no, parents did like for this city. Oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age. It must have been crippling. <laughs> Thanks for pointing it out, man. Deranged Love man you, Bobby. Gotten the right treatment. Maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh. Huh, not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. What do you mean? It's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This what? is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. You have something to hide? Bruce. Well, what? Bruce. Stop flirting. Going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? Uh. You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Everyone loves the host. You're king for a day. Just a day? <laughs> I would have guessed Bruce Wayne has that feeling year round. Yeah, well, yeah take in a lonely big house. Off. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like. Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. No, you're busy wiping my ass. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the dead man who can do you black suits only? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Why are the black characters the only ones in the background? And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. <sighs> Maybe he can change your mind. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser? Doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean. Makes sense why I didn't want the this newspaper here. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Ha, ha, ha. The decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? 
Hey, I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmen Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. Oh, very foreboding. You're a respectable man, I hear. Do I shake? I usually always shake it, right? I mean, no. So far, he's been nice. No reason to be any less respectable. Isn't okay. I will shake time. But the way people react makes me think this is more than a fucking handshake. Uh, what? Well, I don't know, Harvey. He seems to be a friend. The way he talks to me. But for the moment, I don't care for him. If it would be important, I would fucking shake the man, this man's hand, no matter who looks, but... <laughs> Harvey, I'm sorry. People looking, man. I don't know, but this feels weird. This feels very weird. You like me for it, don't forget it. It's that you like me. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill at... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, what? Come on, uh. guys. Bruce. You'll Take be fine minute. out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's I... home is his castle. I respect that. Oh, thank you. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Uh, uh, what did I say? What's going on with those guys, man? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. Hi, so are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. My Lighten the load if we do so together. Mm-hmm. Load together. I ain't gonna chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Oh, man, this man goes quick. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine. <laughs> this is just dominance me. games. Oh, and man. These are all oh. my friends in Gotham. Men are weird. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see... <laughs> oh my god, maybe it's just me, but I'm getting some sexual undertones and it's probably just me, but I... <laughs> Delight, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now, that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. 
Hey, hey, don't bring a dead man in this conversation. He's rotting in the I earth right now. Break. Whatever you say. You're a good kid. You look like him, you know? It's nice that we understand each other. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what? That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be like dismissive, not like, okay, take it. Oh, man. I'm not going back. Let's go with this. Oh, man. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Hey, hey, I appreciate the hospitality, Mr. Wayne. But I, uh... <laughs> I don't think I'll put an offer on the house. A nice guy like you should have a nice place to live. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. While this city's still standing. Okay, that's it for now again. I'm gonna stop here. Let's see if I can upload the video. <sighs> I'm way too much of an introvert. This whole conversation, people going, Bye-bye. <coughs>